Hello everyone. This video we are going to see how we will uh, add our Tomcat server into IntelliJ IDEA. So whenever we are in a program, I mean a Maven project or whatever project you create from a IntelliJ IDEA, uh, you can have an option for adding configuration. It's actually edit run or debug configuration. So we will change something here. That's why we will add Tomcat to here. So we need to click here, add configuration, and we'll have a list of things that I uh, we can add. So on the bottom, if you are click again, you will see some more things. Mm, Tomcat server, you can add a remote server or a local server, whatever you need remote server uh, actually we need to have permission to upload our uh, our file i guess so uh, we can see the local one so i'm clicking on local server and i need to cl uh, click on the uh, tomcat server configuration so uh, i i need to find the place where we installed our tomcat server so if i am going here I can see where exactly I installed that. So we can use this one library Tomcat. That's a, that is the place where we use. But uh, let's see whether we can do with that or no. Okay, so yeah. So right now it's showing the version. So. We can use uh, that link, that virtual link that I used to, uh, for Tomcat. So that's, we can set up here and OK is done. And uh, here it's automatically pop up my port also. So everything, uh, everything is done within a second, right? So uh, here there is some fixes, no artifacts configured. So I need to configure that one. So actually I need to add a, a war or whatever minute. So I will use web application not jar. So if there is any war archive. Web application archive or something. Yeah, web application, war application. So I can click on that and uh, I can fix that. But usually we need to name one. So basically, yeah, you can rename also. So my server or something. So whenever you are running, what we will do is we will create the war file and synchronize with our server. So here I just chatter my server. So if we are run, will show something here so I can connect to sir artifact is being deployed please wait see error, error during artifact deployment so deploying web application unnamed dot war not found for the web module so this way we can connect so in coming videos we can see how we will make a war file and we will synchronize to the tomcat server that's where we can make the de deployment very easy from the intellij idea itself this we can do in sts or eclipse also so it's uh, sometimes because we don't need to take we don't need to take uh, um, our server we don't need to take we don't need to take the war file from our deployment folder and to uh, deploy into the Tomcat server manually we can do that from uh, Intel J idea itself so it will save a lot of time so this is a quick video video tutorial about how we will add Tomcat so in this way we can add so many other things also if we are just clicking here and uh, 
edit configuration we can see some other things also so many integrations so we can use so many integration based on what, on what we need there is a docker is there google app engine deployment is there even if aws in deployment probably be there but i am not sure i'm not used that one we usually use the maven one because we are if, uh, any project will be a maven dependent so on this project also we need a maven one and uh, that maven will create the wall file that's where also we can do these things and uh, so that's all about these things so here it will list whatever we, we have so it's, this two are running configuration that i created one is for tomcat server one is for maven so this way we can create whatever we need how many servers it's uh, it's not a problem so that's all about this video tutorial for coming videos i'm creating a spring mvc maven project and i will create a war file and i will deploy that into tomcat from the intellij idea itself i will do that in next coming next uh, two or three videos that's all for today.